Unveiling the Power of Words, The Art of Underlining Points Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning journey. Today, we're diving into a fascinating expression, to underline a point. It's a phrase you might encounter in both written and spoken English, and understanding it can significantly enhance your communication skills. Let's explore together what it means, how to use it, and see some examples in action. To underline a point means to emphasize or make something stand out as particularly important. It's like when you're reading a book and you use a highlighter to mark significant sentences so you can find and remember them easily later. But instead of using a physical highlighter, we use our words or actions to make sure others realize the importance of what we're saying. This phrase comes from the literal action of underlining words on a page to draw attention to them. In conversations and writing, we don't have a highlighter, but we can still underline our messages through repetition, strong statements, examples, or other methods of emphasis. Using to underline a point effectively in English involves a bit more than just stating what you think is important. Here are some ways to do it. 1. Repetition. Repeating your main idea in different ways can help ensure the listener grasps its importance. 2. Examples. Providing clear examples can illuminate your point and make it more memorable. 3. Strong language. Using strong adjectives or adverbs to describe your point can make it more impactful. 4. Pausing. A strategic pause before or after your main point can give it more weight. 5. Body language. Nonverbal cues like hand gestures or facial expressions can also highlight your point in face-to-face -face communications. Incorporating these techniques can help you effectively underline your points in any conversation or written communication, making sure your message is received loud and clear. Let's look at some examples to see how this works in practice. In a debate, a speaker might say, and this brings me to my most critical point, followed by a slight pause and then their key argument. This combination of verbal cue and pause effectively underlines the significance of what follows. In writing, an author could introduce a pivotal section with, it is essential to understand that this signals to the reader that the upcoming information is crucial to the author's argument. These examples show how you can use different strategies to underline your points, ensuring your audience pays attention to what matters most. Thank you for joining me in exploring the phrase, to underline a point. Understanding and applying this expression in your English communications can make your messages more persuasive and memorable. I hope this video has illuminated how powerful your words can be when you know how to highlight their importance effectively. Keep practicing, and you'll find your communication skills growing stronger every day. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.